Hi, Cy si here from Music Radar. We're at Superbooth 2018. This is the Polyend booth. This is Piotr. Hi, Piotr. You have created with Dreadbox yeah, exactly. a very cool thing indeed. It's the Medusa Hybrid Synth, yep. which is half you and half them. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it, <laughs> there needs to be a story behind it. Yeah, so yeah. It, there was a time that when Yanis developed his free voice, amazingly sounding device, which is you know he's very famous of, of amazingly sounds, yeah, yeah. amazing sounds, and he asked us. Guys, could you deliver me the PCB that will be capable of storing seven uh, presets and seven sequencers? We said, wow, the legend is approaching us. <laughs> we are very new, the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. So we did it immediately. But after all, we like came together and sat with the beer and said, you know what, it's not very polyendish. It's not crazy, it's just you know, seven. Come on. Yeah, we could do better than this. Yeah. And he said, you know what, maybe if you could, I'll give you a free hand with the digital stuff. Okay. So we went bonkers. like. You know. <laughs> and this is it. This is the, the culmination of the bonkers. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what I mean is, let's start with his part, which is, you know, analog free uh, oscillators with, with different wave, yep. waveforms, obviously, with microtuning, with FM. Uh, the cutoff, which has two stages and the uh, of low pass and the high pass, obviously, it's brand new, so it sounds you know fresh and modern. And on top of that, we added the digital, three digital oscillators, uh, also with the same wave waves. Okay. But then we added another stage, which is variable wave shape. Okay. And then. And then the wavetable thing. Uh, exactly. Yeah, 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 very cool. And then we decided we will go for wavetables, so we will be able to draw them on our software and yep. put it into your yeah. into your presets. And how many can you store? We don't know it. I think thirty will be the the number. Thirty is plenty. Is all right. Thirty is plenty. plenty. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Um, right. So so that's where the madness begins. So combining both analog and digital, busting the myths. What yeah. sounds better? Yeah, yeah. So then we said, hey, how about envelopes? It's quite, you know, expensive to make it uh, in analog realm. Let's go digital and then let's unlock some features like delay, like let's draw it, let's show it, let's have them five independent, let's make them loopable. Okay. And yeah. the most important thing is that we wanted to decide where the targets should go. Is it five, ten targets per preset? So we came to the conclusion that all the things can be targeted, right? Wow. So envelope can handle all the stuff you see here. Same story with LFOs. You have six independent LFOs, also digital. And also we have the sweepable waves for that. They are very fast, uh, but they are digital, so we are not going to very fast audibles. Yeah, yeah. We have FM for that, like, right? And then what I've changed is everything is being shown on the on the, this little screen. So let me let me do some random stuff. Brilliant. And then yeah, and then I will uh, load some 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 other stuff to show you that the envelopes are also. Monophonic. We have the poly and we have the idea how to make polyrhythmy, not polyrhythmy, polyphony, yeah. using each voice that each voice will occupy one slot, let's say. So you hit this one, it will occupy one slot, and then you can play chords. Yeah. But it's not real polyphony because um, we share the, we have separate envelopes for each voice, but we share the same uh, cutoff for, well, filter for that. Yeah, okay. okay. So it's Cheated polyphony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. Cool. I didn't want to use that word. It's not very marketing-wise good. Um, well, but it didn't stop there. So we went further and we added, you know, this device, yeah. the controlling stage of the the, the 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 Medusa. We were working on the grid. We call it the the, uh, the device, the grid, MP 
a controller with step sequencer and we said well maybe we should include it into Medusa and see how it goes from that so we took it to uh, we took the development of it put it into Medusa and started working on that and it occurred immediately that is a very good idea so if I'm when it, when I'm in the voice I can treat this side as a keyboard like let me load something Of course, I can load different scales, different root notes. There are loads of scales okay, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> we That's all, more. yeah, there is a grid mode. The grid mode is the way to customize every step of your keyboard. So, for example, here I can have cutoff. Here maybe a little less. Here maybe I'll change my. Uh, sorry, I'm not in the. I'm not in the rec mode. Let me wait for it to cancel. Yeah. I'm changing the notes and I'm taking the notes from the scales, obviously, so to stay on the scale, right? Yeah. So you may ask how many parameters can be stored in each of the steps. The answer is all. Every Everything. parameter can be stored, so you are okay. play, basically playing the preset. I have some better, uh, better wow. things um, stored. So if we talk about memory, we have 256 pattern for the grid uh -huh. and 50, 256 patterns for the voice, and you can treat them independently. So it's loads of memory to be you know wow. utilized. And then <laughs> it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Well, I love this. It, it stopped. I will, it will stop on some time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My voice will stop first, probably. <laughs> Don't let it die before you finish, though. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, we are well known of the step sequencer yeah. of ours. So, we added the step sequencer here. So, we can play all those. Right? Great. We'll add loads of stuff from there. Yeah. I think. Maybe last thing that I would like to talk about before I give you a sound demo is that there is a random function and we love randomness as, as you already know. Uh, we'll have some stages of randomness like a noob version yeah. where we touch, we treat you gently like a touch some parameters like 5% yeah. difference. Only a bit of it. Changing, so so yeah. just like random, random, random it will change a little bit. Yeah. And the hardcore version will, you know, everything will be like destroyed. Yeah. So for example it will go like Okay. Yeah. I, I randomly loaded the drums sound, so maybe I'll show you that it's also capable of playing drums. So. And now I can change the parameters on the fly globally. So. But also locally, each step, so... It's very fast, you can go up to 300 BPM, so you know, make nice. amazing stuff. So, maybe some more uh, capabilities of the grid yeah. because there's also XYZ movement, yeah. and you can target, you can send the targets of my movement in XYZ realm to again any of oh, okay. So, <laughs> the most obvious one is, of course, the pitch, right? digital as well so very powerful device maybe some more presets let's see what I have record, uh, uh, recorded some uh, chords mm -hmm. on top of each I think if 
you are not familiar with playing, you know, white and black keys, yeah. which are on off by the way, which is not cool, not very expressive, uh, you'll immediately get the idea. If you are playing keys, you know, this could play as, you know, white and black, but in a different kind of layout. Yeah. For the guitarist, you, you can do, you know, Microtunic, is it there? Yeah. So, for now, you can, of course, configure your microtunic step by step like I did here. I took some, some notes and detune it a little bit with the oscillator, right? Okay. And, but then we are thinking of adding to our software, uh, like for the Mac, ability to convert Scala files and put it into the scales here. Okay. I yeah. think it's gonna be cool. Yeah, be cool yeah. So let's do some sequence, right? Let's see how can we record the sequence. The sequence is 32, it can be 64. So I'll go to voice, hold rec, and then randomly we'll fill the 60, uh, 32 steps. Like. per step added so that's why you, you, you hear those so let's mess it up a little bit going on in this thing 85 um, percent yeah. i suppose so. so you're talking yeah it's it's not fully there we've got yanis here who ah, is yanis. Awesome. <laughs> He's done a great job. just like behind my back checking if i'm saying the truth was he doing it right was he saying all the right things i yanis. wasn't here all the time okay um yanis music radar music radar yanis hi guys the developer developer uh, dreadbox um dreadbox, yeah. what are we talking about kind of like lead times for seeing it in the shops to be 100% honest and fair, it's gonna be September. Okay. We'll try to do it before, but I think September is very, very real. Yeah. And maybe a few units by the mid-summer. Okay, yeah, yeah. brilliant. And have you got a price that you, you're willing to say at this point? Price is already set. It is set, okay. And it's wait, 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 how what? much do you price that? Yeah, no, don't ask me that. No, no, I don't don't ask me oh, that. actually, yeah. That's cool. That's I think I mean, it's, it's alright, including yeah, yeah, shipping. I would have priced it more, I would have maybe 1500 We can sell it to you for yeah, 1500 Yeah, okay, you do that. <laughs> I have not, don't have that money. Everybody want to buy it for 1500 we are, we're stupid then. Okay, then what maybe do you we sell it. No, 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 we sell it for 1500 It's settled here online now. <laughs> Blame him. <laughs> it's not my fault, they won't do it. Don't do it, please. Um, thank you guys so much. It's great, you, great thank to you. see you. Nice, thank and you. thank you so much for... Uh, bringing such a beast in Medusa to life. Thank oh you. Yeah. So, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment and share wherever you've seen this video right now. Uh, check out musicradar.com for all the latest news, reviews and tutorials. And we'll be back soon. Cheers.